Hi, my name is Yona. I'm the after school leader at Field Teen Center. And today I'm gonna to be talking about Trouble Girls by Julia Lynn Rubin, which is a 2021 novel about two girls who become criminals and are on the run from the law. I listened to it as an audiobook on the Libby app. From the book's official summary, when Trixie picks up her best friend Lux for their weekend getaway, she's looking to escape for a little while, to forget the despair of being trapped in their dead-end Rust Belt town and the daunting responsibility of caring for her ailing mother. The girls are packing light, a supply of Diet Coke for Lux and her 89 Cannon to help her frame the world in a sunnier light, half a pack of cigarettes for Trixie that she doesn't really smoke, and a knife, one she's just hanging on to for a friend that she's never used before but a single night of violence derails their trip and will forever change the course of the girls' lives as they go from ordinary high schoolers to wanted fugitives. Trying to stay ahead of the cops and a hellscape of media attention, the girls grapple with an unforgiving landscape, rapidly diminishing supplies and disastrous decisions at every turn. As they're transformed by the media into the face of a hashtag Me Too movement they didn't ask to lead, and the road before them begins to run out, Trixie and Lux realize they can only rely on each other and that the love they find together is one thing that truly makes them free. If you're a film fan, you might recognize some of the beats of this story from the 1991 movie Thelma and Louise, which is about two women who become fugitives. Thelma, I'm going to Mexico. Like Thelma and Louise, Trixie and Lux end up at a bar that they're not supposed to be in because they're teenagers. And that's where they meet a guy who decides he wants Lux, he wants to take advantage of her, and he's not going to take no for an answer. When Trixie steps up to defend her, things go very deeply awry. And from that moment on, they're on the run and they're criminals. And we follow them as they go on this road trip of doom across the U.S., stealing money, losing money, spending it on stupid things, having moments of revelation and self-discovery and making a huge mess of everything. I think the biggest strengths of this book are the writing and the storytelling, which is really gripping and detailed and just lovely all throughout. You really feel the like cracked vinyl under their seats and you can smell the hair dye in the hotel room. So Julia Lynn Rubin's writing is really strong throughout and is a highlight of the book. And number two, we really get a strong sense of both Trixie and Lux's characters, the ways that they get along, the ways that they fail to get along, and this kind of shifting sea of emotions between the two of them. At moments of the story, Trixie, who is the main character that we follow more closely, is really pining for Lux and uncertain of what to do about these feelings, not wanting to ruin their friendship, especially when they are stuck in a car with each other. And we can see how Lux is both somebody who is an anchor for Trixie and gets her through some pretty rough stuff, and also how she kind of causes some problems as well. My favorite moments of this story were the moments when bad things happened to Trixie and Lux, as they tend to do, and we got to see how they would respond. For example, there's a moment around the middle of the story where their car stops working, which is a huge problem because they don't have any money, or at least not enough for a brand new car, and the cops are after them. So they really have to get on the move somehow, and they're forced to make some dubious decisions. I felt like they behaved like really real people. They didn't always do smart things, but they always did things that made sense and felt realistic. I feel like Julia Lynn Rubin did a lot of research, and it really shows in the story. This is not a story in which we see a huge change in the characters overall where they've learned their lesson and become stronger people at the end. It's kind of one long mood. And I definitely think there are interesting things in here about human nature and what it looks like and feels like when you get in over your head. It's not necessarily going to be a happy ending kind of story, but if you really like slice of life and you like slow burn character studies, there is a lot in here that you'll really enjoy. I think you would like this story if you enjoyed The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp or She's Too Pretty to Burn by Wendy Hurd, which both also feature romantic relationships between two girls and crime and big old disasters.
You might also keep your eyes peeled because Julia Lynn Rubin has a new book coming out in May 2022. It's called Primal Animals and it's set at a summer camp where the main character's family secrets start to come to light and she's locked in a dangerous rivalry with some of the other girls at the camp. If you would like more book recommendations or you want to tell us what you thought about this book, get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you. You can DM us on Instagram, you can email us, or you can always visit us in person. We're at Parkway Central Library on the ground floor. We're open Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And of course, these hours could change in the future. So for the most up-to-date information, definitely keep an eye on our social media or visit our website. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you get to read something good today.